Hi, and thanks for watching the video. I'm Todd Baginski. I'm a Microsoft MVP and the partner and CTO at Canvas. In this video, I'm going to give you an end-to-end -end demonstration of the Travel Approval Power App Sample Template. Let's get started. The Travel Approval Power App Sample Template includes many components. The first of which you're looking at here, the Travel Request Tablet Power App. This Power App allows users to make requests for travel. It also provides them the ability to look at reports to see which types of costs are associated with all the different requests in the system. This Power App is driven behind the scenes by this SharePoint list called Travel. It stores all the data. Flows also facilitate the process. We have this flow here called the Travel Request Flow. We'll see this invoked as well. We also have a Power BI report as we, we saw in the Power App. You will see this as well. And we also have an Office 365 group called Travel Group Approver in my case here. All these components work together to allow employees to submit for travel request approval and then allow managers, as well as the group members for this Office 365 group we're looking at, to do a two-tier approval process. I'm going to get started now and walk you through what this process looks like end-to-end. -end. The process starts when an employee opens up the Power App like I've done here. Notice you can see all of the previous requests that you've made in the system. You can also filter them at the top. I see there's five altogether, but there are three pending, one approved, and one declined. To make a new request, click the Create button in the top right, and then enter the title, as well as the description, the start and end date, where you're traveling to, and the anticipated cost of your trip. I'll fill out the form now. Here's what the form looks like after you fill it out with the details. After you've filled out the form, click the Send Request button. After the form is submitted, the Power App refreshes the list of travel requests. Here we can see the sales trip that we just submitted at the top row. We also notice that its status is Pending Manager Approval. In the background, the flow also updated the SharePoint list, and here we can see this item in the bottom of the list. In addition to these items, the flow sent an email to the user who submitted this request's manager. In this scenario, this user, Katie Jordan, is the manager. You can see that Katie has a new email that's asking her to approve this particular travel request. If she clicks the detail link in the email, she can go right to the SharePoint list to see the details associated with the travel request. She can then return to her email and either reject it, in which case the flow will mark the item as declined in the SharePoint list, and it will also show up that way in the Power App, or she can approve it. In this case, I'll approve it and enter a reason. Then click the Submit button. The approval is now being registered with the Microsoft Flow. After the approval is registered with the flow, the flow will move on to the next steps. Returning to the inbox for the person who submitted the request, in this case my email, I can see that my request to the, for the sales trip has been approved by my manager Katie Jordan. Here are any comments that she left. As you can see, here's that looks good to me that I typed in. This is a two-stage approval flow. The next stage of the approval actually happens inside of the Office 365 group called Travel Group Approver that I showed you earlier. Here you can see that the group inbox now has an email asking to approve uh, this request as well. Before I approve it here at the second stage, I'm going to bounce back real quick to the Power App. We can now see in the Power App that the status has been updated and is now pending the travel group's approval. The SharePoint list will also reflect that same status here. The flow keeps everything up to date. And then the Power App renders from the contents inside of the SharePoint list. Now I can come back as a member of this group 
and click the Approve button. Clicking the button triggers the flow to update the SharePoint list so the item now has a status of Approved. We can also see that reflected here in the Power App. I've also received an email letting me know that the request was completely approved. All of our filtering still works here as well, so if I filter down to the approved ones, I can see the one that I just submitted here for the one traveling to Louisville at the top. Finally, I can go over to the Reports page in the Power App and look at the Power BI report. Here I can see the updated data based on the information that I just entered in for this approved travel request. This concludes the demonstration of the travel request sample. Hopefully this sample gives you a good kickstart as you go and you replace solutions that you built that are similar to this based on older technologies such as Microsoft SharePoint, SharePoint Workflows, and InfoPath Forms. Thanks for watching the video. Hope the sample comes in helpful for you. See you next time.